In the gloom, the longhouse feels empty, but it is filled with the odors of rust, tar, and animal fur, and the snoring of dogs. It is the man named Eric who speaks, smacking scarred fingers together for emphasis, the steam of his breath mingling with the wood smoke. He fills the men's heads with legends of exploration and raiding, of a sea that eats longbows, and an undiscovered country ripe for Viking occupation. He tells the Vikings that they can leave their frigid homeland and sail across the endless sea of worms to a new world brimming with wild grain, grapes, and tall trees. To the Vikings, he speaks of paradise, and of course the grizzled Norsemen are always eager for adventure. When he asks for volunteers, men slam their weapons on tables and shout his name in the cold air. Eric the Red smiles. It has been a hard winter, and the wolves are hungry. We must protect our villages from their packs. Ja, to build enough long ships for this journey, we'll need gold and lots of it. There's plenty in the fishing villages of Britain for the taking. Legends have spoken of this place, the sea of worms. The waters here are alive and eager to chew through the hulls of our longships. We should sail clear of this place. 
Even if it means crossing Greenland by foot. Buin. Buhur. Ja, buin. Buhur, buin. Ja. Buhur. Ja. Rätt, vill jag. Att det är verkligen. Kusashmi, 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 sir. Ho, puin. Ja, bothos. Ho, bothos. Puin. Puin. Altilagi. Timber Hoffwandi. Altilag, Vaithimathur. Ja, Ho, Altilag. Hushashmathur. Timber Hoffwandi. 
O altilaghi mater. Ja, Ja, Altilagi, Vile, Vaithi Mather. Timber Hoffandi. Bothothr. Ho? Bothothr. Vaithi Mather. Win, Vaithi Mather. Schmitter, ja, ho. Ushasmither, Ushasmither, Ushasmither. Ja. Ushasmither. Timber Hochwandi. Altilagi. Hushashmiter. Ja, Hushashmiter. Ja, ja. Willek. 
Kusha Schmither. Buin. Oh, Kusha Schmither. The new world. I claim it in the name of Eric the Red. To establish our settlement here, we will need to construct a town center, a market, and 12 houses. The name of Eric the Red will never be forgotten as the first Viking in the new world. Much of the Viking history is recorded in oral accounts called sagas, passed down through generations. Two of the most famous sagas are reserved for the adventures of Eric the Red and his men, who crossed the mighty sea in tiny ships to forge a new Viking sovereignty. Vinland, as the New World was called, was not kind to the Vikings. Although they lacked the iron weapons of the Norsemen, the native Skraling were fierce warriors who fought relentlessly to defend their homeland against the Norse invaders. The vastness of the North Atlantic cut the Vikings in Newfoundland off from their homeland, and they suffered many long years while trying to establish their new colony. <laughs> 